Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be breaking down and reviewing the first few episodes of WandaVision. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment so you don't miss any WandaVision videos later this year. So yeah, I was lucky enough to watch WandaVision just yesterday, and the embargo has broke, obviously, by the time this video is up. So I'm very excited to share with you my thoughts as to the new Marvel show because this is one of the first you know Marvel shows that they're putting on Disney Plus actually it is the first show and so everyone was intrigued I was very intrigued and I've got to say it lived up to my expectations it's very intriguing and very mysterious in the way that it presents its story in the first three episodes and by the end of the third episode you're just wanting more and more you're left in this sort of state of intrigue and so in terms of the story there is a lot going on and they really commit to the sitcom format and the kind of aesthetics you know in terms of visuals that each episode is kind of in a different time period episode one and two are kind of in the same period so there's not much deviation between the style but then episode three it goes into a completely different time period it shifts from black and white to color that's not really a spoiler that was in the trailers and we kind of knew it was happening or it was gonna happen and so yeah the style I think the way it's shot is amazing looks really nice great cinematography and it's very authentic to the periods the accents the way people act I think the actors all did a really good job and they feel of the period and the characters are really lovable Wanda and Vision are obviously great but then the supporting cast you know the supporting characters around they're all interesting because they are really nice and they are very homely in this kind of small town and that's a big theme throughout it, the fact that they are stuck there and they can't kind of remember what is going on. And so you have these lovely characters who are quite naive because they are oblivious to what is happening, kind of like how we are oblivious to what is going on, you know, because the first few episodes they don't actually delve into why we're in this kind of sitcom world. But you get to realize things are slightly off bit by bit you get the mystery kind of untangled a little bit and you're definitely left wanting more by the time of episode three and so obviously you guys will get to see episode one and two this coming week and then next week you will see episode three and it'll go week by week after that so it's very unique and it's very different to the mcu because you know I think you're going to have to get used to it in the first episode and then by the time you get to the second episode you'll be used to the style because it's completely different, right? So the big thing with Marvel is they get complaints that the films feel the same. They kind of are part of this same style that doesn't differ film to film. And so in terms of references, obviously it feels of the period, you know, like the films of the 40s and 50s in terms of its black and white cinematography but then mainly the sitcoms of that time and then you shift into the 70s where you have the color sitcom and it really looks great and and so WandaVision taps into something really unique especially in terms of the time periods it chooses and it feels unlike anything you've ever seen before just by the fact that you know, you have the sitcoms and you've always had these, you've always had your superhero shows, you've always had your superhero films, but they've never kind of combined and crossed over, and so it's something completely new, and they really do hit the mark of it, because it's so intriguing, and then in terms of referencing of other projects, it kind of feels a bit like Big Fish, with, you know, the whole town and the whole situation, it feels a bit unreal, and then you have films like... The Truman Show where it kind of feels unrealistic you know that they're being watched something is going on and they are being controlled in some way because there's even instances when it evidently on the screen goes back in time and slightly corrects something and so going back to to the everyday kind of life of these superheroes it's something that we have never seen you know you kind of get to live in this experience where you can see what Wonder and Vision would be like if they had a normal life and just, you know, married, they were having a kid or something. And it's unlike, you know, kind of stepping into the MCU and you kind of expect this certain thing, you expect the world to end there to be a huge threat. And you kind of feel like it's coming, there is going to be some sort of big threat, but, you know, the way they start the series, they don't actually start with a big threat. 
and it's just a normal sitcom. It's literally a complete a normal sitcom, but with superhero characters in it. And it's very eerie because you feel like there is something else going on here because you don't actually get to step into their normal lives, what they have lived like before. Obviously, you have what happened in Infinity War and Endgame, and they don't touch upon that yet. And so, you know, you can have a lot of theories as to what's going on and why are they in this situation, but I really like that they stick to their guns. And I would recommend probably watching Infinity War, but definitely Endgame before you get to the third episode, so you have like a week or so before that episode actually premieres. So that's just a recommendation on my part. And then, you know, for Marvel fans, it's going to be very exciting. I think a lot of people are going to maybe be against it because it's completely different. However, I think we should appreciate it for that. But it's been about 18 months or so since we last got a Marvel project. So it is very nice to go back to these characters, to go back to this universe. And so this is definitely an amazing show. And I'm really looking forward to episode four. And so it really does play into what was promoted in the trailers. It's everything I wanted and everything I kind of expected it to be, but even more. I think they played into it more than what I expected. I thought they would like cut back out to reality, show the normal world more than they do. And so in the films, obviously we were introduced to Vision and Wanda separately and they had their relationship. But with the first few episodes of the show, what they do is they kind of ground these characters and you feel like you know them, you feel like you're a part of this small town that they're in and you're really in their shoes in the situation that they're in. And so it's very cozy and very homely, I would say, is probably the right word to describe the first few episodes. And so obviously you're inspired by shows like The Dick Van Dyke Show in the 50s and then you have the 60s, then it moves to the 70s and slowly bit by bit you get all these references, you know, in terms of the music, there's this reference to Yakety Yak, which is the episode one kind of time period. So, you know, there's all these references that if you know your stuff in terms of sitcoms, music, and the specific time periods, you're going to have a lot of fun. It's very goofy and it kind of reflects this idealistic world that they would love to have, you know, to be normal people, to live their life, to not face Thanos and die. And so I think the concept of you don't always have to save the world is really played out amazingly here and on a personal level I would love them to explore these characters in a kind of similar way to this again and obviously I think it's going to become less and less personal but I think at least for the next few episodes it's going to stay in this kind of sitcom format but then as the mystery reveals more and more we're going to kind of snap back to present day and so in terms of the cast like I said they're all great and they're really committed to their roles and the costume design and the hair and makeup everything kind of fits in very well to the time period and it feels of the time like I said the cinematography reflects it as well but in terms of the cast Elizabeth Olsen is fantastic and it definitely gives her best performance as Wanda. I wasn't always the biggest fan but now I think I'm a big fan after these few episodes and Paul Bettany nails it as Vision and I think they all really up their game in terms of everything the two of them have never been better and I think all around it's really just tops everything that Marvel has done in certain ways, especially with them kind of breaking this normal mold that they're used to. So yeah, I absolutely loved it and I can't wait to see more. So for now, get ready and we will have a review out for each new episode. But for now, please be sure to subscribe if you want to see more WandaVision videos and I will catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.